favorite thing about chemistry has to be the explosions. <laughs> I am a pyromaniac at heart. I just love, love, love any type of boom. To me, I'm actually kinesthetically experiencing the science, and that's just what I love. You can't do that in a history class. You can't do that in an English class, but you can feel it, you can experience it, and usually you can use an explosion to get a kid who is intimidated by science into your field. It's just a fantastic thing to do. I love my job, I love it. My name is Dr. Kate Bieberdorf, and I am a lecturer at the University of Texas at Austin. <laughs> I joined the faculty in fall of 2014 here at the University of Texas, and after about three months, I went to my boss and said, I'm bored, you've got to give me something else, I have all this energy, I need to do something with this energy. And they thought, okay, why don't you run the demonstrations program? And I said, yes, only if you will give me an outreach program. <gasps> So it's extremely exothermic, so what's happening is the energy is shooting up into the air right now, and all of the oxygen bubbles are trapped within the dish soap, and that's what's being released. Fun with Chemistry is my outreach program, and what we do is we go out to local Austin schools, and we blow stuff up, and we try to show kids that science is fun and entertaining, and you don't have to be a dork or a nerd to like science. You can be a normal girl who just likes fire and explosions and all that fun stuff. So now all we're doing is just adding the methane gas into the bubbles. So what you can see is all these bubbles are literally trapping that CH4. Now water has a very, very high heat capacity. And so what it means is it basically takes a lot of energy in order to raise the temperature. So I'm essentially putting on my own type of safety jacket right there. And so what I've got is a big handful of methane bubbles here. Three, two, and one. That was awesome. Today we are going out to the Boys and Girls Club at Wooldridge Elementary, and I'm going to be accompanied by the Women of Natural Sciences, or WINS, those are my undergraduate volunteers. And so what we're doing is we're kind of combining everything together to do a really neat science fair. Are you doing it? This would be a good group, awesome, I'm so excited to be here. I love these events because I know, even if I'm just interacting with a student for maybe five minutes, I know that they'll be able to go home and tell their mom about something different that happened at school today. And what are you adding? Vinegar. Vinegar, yeah. Vinegar, so vinegar is acetic acid, acetic acid. So we're gonna add acetic acid to baking soda, which is sodium bicarbonate. Go ahead, let's see what happens. What size do you get to close up? Three, two, three, two. I learned vinegar and baking soda can ex um, explode when you put vinegar and baking soda. Personally, my personal mission for this program is to show women, specifically girls, that anybody can be a scientist. Literally anybody and a good one. And you can actually change the world. So what have you learned? Pretty much nothing. I've known a lot because of my dad. My favorite experiment was the one where my hair stuck up. And it was shocking. Shocking! Oh! And that one over there where we mixed three chemical solutions in one glass. Oh! Whoa! 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 What happens? What happens? I am losing my mind because I am really excited about this experiment we're going to test out for the first time. I've never done this before. So usually with my finale, what I do is I take hot water and dump it into a huge bucket of liquid nitrogen, which releases a ton of nitrogen gas in kind of a white cloud. On my good days, I can get it about 30 feet in the air. But what we're going to do today is try to put a little spin on it. This is the very first time that we're trying this. I'm super excited about it. The thunder cloud reaction is where you take hot water and add it to liquid nitrogen and and basically a cloud of nitrogen gas is evolved, but orange, that's what we're looking for. We're trying to turn it orange. Three, two, one. Oh, totally worked, it totally worked, it totally worked. We are so ready for the next one. Let's take it up a notch. What's really unique and amazing about chemistry is I can actually do these demonstrations and show the students what I'm talking about on the microscopic level. Okay, let's stop there. I want to do it so much more than that, but we're going to have to stop and test it here first. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> that totally worked! That totally worked! That was definitely bigger than the 
last one, we got orange everywhere, including on my face, which I love it. Ah, I'm so ready, let's do a big one now. Yay! Literally anybody can be a scientist, and I want these kids to not think that there's a barrier for some reason, or it's not cool, it's weird to like science. It's actually really cool to like science because it will explain everything around you. And I'm gonna go as big as I possibly can. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> this is the reason I became a chemist. Oh my gosh, look at this. We might have to have a little bit bigger cleanup here, guys. Sorry. <laughs> but it's worth it, right?